What is a lumber sexual? Well, fear no more because Gawker actually went into lengthy detail describing what a lumber sexual is. So they say, quote, see what aligns the lumber sexual, and they give an example of, of, of metrosexual, is not the clothes or the skincare regimen, but rather intent. Both kinds of men are working very hard to fashion themselves into a certain look and presumably a way of thinking. Then they gave an example from Gear Junking of what a uh, lumber sexual looks like. And this is what Gear Junkie says. He is a bar hopping, but he looks like he could fell a Norway pine. Fell a Norway pine, does that mean like Hold no, no, and, and knock it over. Okay, but he could fell a Norway pine. Cut it down. His backpack carries a MacBook Air, but looks like he should carry a lumberjack's axe. He looks really rugged, flannels, beard. They gave examples, Gawker did, of, of some lumber sexuals from back in the day until present. So there's a bunch of them. This has been going on for a while. So we have Luke from Gilmore Girls. I know you love Gilmore Girls. Do you agree? See lumber sexual Luke? A no. little bit. Okay. Uh, Style-wise, yes. Personality-wise, no. Not at all. Okay. Gawker f this up. Okay, it's wait, the original gonna... article that gets it right. Okay. Okay. So let me go through the people and then we'll discuss. Aiden from Sex in the City, Tim the Toolman Taylor, and his sidekick on Home Improvement. Al Borland. Nick from New Girl, <laughs> Nick Offerman, Chuck Norris, Tom Hanks and Castaway. Okay. <laughs> Ernest Hemingway, Jake Gyllenhaal, and the Brawny Man. Don't agree with any of this. Thoughts, five words or less. Can I get your lumber? <laughs> I'm going to break the five words and I'm going to go in with an awful joke. Brett. Do it. All right. What kind of shoes does a lumberjack wear? I don't know. Timberlands. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> lumber sexuals? Nah. Lumberjack offs. Give me that wood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's weird. That's intense. <laughs> I liked it. You went places with okay. that. Okay, a little bit. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the idea of a lumber sexual. What I immediately thought of is, is like a guy that's hip, but then is wearing the flannel. Maybe he has like a rugged beard, but not like brawny man castaway. No, that's all wrong. Okay. Here's, here's, here's the essence of a lumber sexual. Okay. In much the way that a metrosexual is a straight guy that looks so stylish that he fits everyone's idea of what a gay man looks like. Mm -hmm. A lumber sexual is someone with the beard and the flannel and the jeans and the boots that looks like he should be able to cut down a tree, mm -hmm. but he's too busy at the coffee shop Intelligentsia. Yes. He would never take himself away from that to do anything uh, outdoorsy yeah. ever. Yeah, besides like maybe get a fixed designer. gear bike. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. So I agree it, with that to the T. So is it not then just not about the look? It's about how they act and stuff like that? Because no, anyone, look, right? but I mean, it is a look, but anyone can dress that way. But I could dress like this and I could go and be a mechanic or something like that. Because it's, uh, is it supposed to toy with the idea of what you look like compared to what you actually Oh, you mean expectations? Like? Yes. It starts with the trend, the yeah. mostly hipster trend of wearing flannel yeah. and looking like this and growing a beard because it makes you look interesting, mm -hmm. right? And it points out, it goes from there and says, you look like a lumberjack, but you could never do any of that stuff. But I think the people that are lumber sexuals are the people who have always been shopping at Target and they go buy whatever's in Target. So they were like buying Massimo khaki shorts at one point and polo shirts, but Target updated what was in. And so all these guys started buying all the flannel and then Society was like, this is great, you should grow beards, and then they did. I think it's more calculated to the point where they're like, God, I wanna be rugged, and like, Ryan Gosling and what movie's coming to my mind right now? It's a, it's it's totally escaping me, but he has a beard. He's picturing his body Yeah, I'm right picturing now. his glistening <laughs> chest and abs. Oh, you're talking about uh, The Notebook? <laughs> when he's building the yes! freaking house? Yes, Brie! Yes, throwing a flannel that on him. is a true lumberjack. That's, that's not a lumber sexual. Uh, that's because that's, right. but that's what they're house. trying to look like. That's, that's what they're trying I know, that's to what I'm look saying. like. Lumber sexual is yes. a style and a look, but a true lumberjack, maybe Luke yes. Danes from Gilmore Girls, is a true lumberjack because he's always fixing some porches. Right. Yeah. He is always making some breakfast. Yes. Yeah. Okay. With some maple syrup that he made that he got from the tree outside. Mm -hmm. he, he hugged a tree and got syrup. And got the syrup. That's how manly he was. So where's the trend going now? Because if you're saying this metrosexual that takes so much care and the look, like this beard trend is in now where everyone grows their beard so much out but dresses in a full suit. You know what I mean? And I the like that. And they trim the bottom. So I don't understand that. You can dress like a lumber sexual, but you're not an actual lumberjack. And people will put a stereotype on you, but you don't have to be that stereotype. I don't know. I'll I like it. the positive spin. I like that. Please do I write like a to book. I think yeah. of like uh, 
of, of a long beard with a suit as like a pocket square you're really committing to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because you like put a lot of time into that accessory. Yeah. I just um, really hope this trend doesn't go away anytime soon. Yeah, I you like know it. I love me some flannels. Me and too. I will steal your flannel. Yes, please. That's what I'm saying. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, so what do you guys think about lumber sexuals? Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at The Real Pop Trigger. Also on our Tumblr account. We'll see you guys all next time on Pop Trigger.